my nose. It's too long, it's too long, I need to make it small. I won't lie, no more lies, no more lies, so please make it small. Oh my nose, it's too long, it's too long, I need to make it small. Oh my nose, it's too long, it's too long, I need to make it small. I won't lie, no more lies, no more lies, so please make it small. Oh my nose, it's too long, it's too long, I need to make it small. Pinocchio Geppetto has no children, but he wants a child. I will make a son from wood. So he makes Pinocchio. A fairy appears and says to Pinocchio, Now you can move and speak. Be a good boy and you will be a real boy. The next morning, Pinocchio says, Good morning, Father. Geppetto is very happy, and he sends Pinocchio to school. When Pinocchio goes to school, he meets a fox and a cat. They say, Let's go to a puppet show. So Pinocchio goes with them. Pinocchio sees a puppet show. Suddenly, the fox and the cat lock Pinocchio in a cellar. They plan to sell Pinocchio for money. The fairy appears. Pinocchio lies to her. I was kidnapped! <laughs> Suddenly, Pinocchio's nose grows long. When Pinocchio tells the truth, a woodpecker makes Pinocchio's nose small again. Pinocchio runs home, but then he meets boys in a wagon. Come with us to Toyland. The boys say, so Pinocchio follows them. <laughs> Pinocchio plays at Toyland for many days. And he turns into a donkey. Again, the fairy appears. She makes Pinocchio a wooden boy again. Pinocchio comes back home, but he doesn't see Geppetto. A seagull tells him, Geppetto was looking for you. And a whale ate him! Pinocchio jumps into the sea. And the whale comes and swallows him. Oh no! Pinocchio goes into the whale's stomach. Pinocchio finds Geppetto. They make a big fire. So the whale sneezes. Achoo! And the whale spits out Geppetto and Pinocchio. The fairy is waiting for Geppetto and Pinocchio at home. Good boy, you saved Geppetto. Then she makes Pinocchio into a real boy. Pinocchio isn't a wooden boy any longer.
Turnip seed grow, turnip seed grow, plant the seed, grow, grow, grow. Help me cat, help me mouse, pull the turnip, pull, pull, pull. It's so yummy, turnip soup. It's so yummy, turnip jam. Yeah! The Great Big Turnip The old man has turnip seeds. One day he plants the turnip seeds. He waters the seeds too. One turnip grows. It gets big. And it gets bigger and bigger. The old man is very excited. He thinks, I can make turnip soup. I can make turnip bread. I can make turnip jam, too. Every day the turnip grows more. Oh, my! Says the old man one day. It is a great big turnip. Now it is ready. Pulls the turnip. He pulls and pulls and pulls. And he pulls some more. But he can't pull it out. Help! Help me! Come and help me! The old man and the old woman pull and pull and pull, but they can't pull it out. Help! They say to the old cat. Help us! Please come and help us! The old man, the old woman, and the old cat Pull and pull, but they can't pull it out. Wait here. The old cat goes to the young mouse. Help! Please help us pull out the great big turnip. The young mouse pulls the old cat, and the old cat pulls the old woman, and the old woman pulls the old man, and the old man pulls the great big turnip. Pop! The great big turnip comes out! Ouch! Everyone falls over. At dinner, they eat turnip soup. Eat your soup, eat it all up, says the old woman. Eat your turnip bread and turnip jam. Drink your turnip juice. What's for dessert? Says the old man. Turnip ice cream. Says the old woman. Yummy! Fee, fi, 
fi bum I want my eggs back, fi fi fo bum I want my heart back, fi fi fo bum Where are you going, Jack is a thief, bam Fee fi bum I want my eggs back, fi fi fo bum I want my heart back, fi fi fo bum Where are you going, Jack is a thief, bam And the Beanstalk. There is a boy named Jack. He lives with only his mother. They are very poor. One day, Jack's mother gets very sick. But she has no money for medicine. So Jack says, Let's sell the cow. Jack goes outside with the cow. Jack meets a strange old man. He says, if you give me the cow, I will give you magic beans. Jack gives the cow for the magic beans. Oh no! Did you give the cow for some beans? Jack's mother gets very angry. She throws the beans outside. The next day, Jack is surprised. A big beanstalk goes up to the sky. Wow! Those are real magic beans! Jack climbs up the beanstalk. In the sky, there is a fairy. Climb up to the top, says the fairy. Poof! She disappears. Jack climbs up to the top of the beanstalk. There is a giant's castle. Fee-fi-foo-fum! What is this smell? Jack hears the giant's voice, so he hides under a table. Lay an egg. The hen lays a golden egg. Jack takes the hen to his house. The next day, Jack goes to the giant's castle again. Sing for me, golden harp, says the giant. And the golden harp sings a beautiful song. Now, Jack takes the golden harp too. But the golden harp cries, a thief! A thief! So the giant chases Jack. Jack jumps down the beanstalk. Then he cuts the beanstalk. Save me! Save me! Screams the giant. He falls and dies. The hen lays golden eggs every day. Jack and his mother get rich. The golden harp always sings a beautiful song.
Rap a tap tap, there's an elf. Rap a tap tap, there are elves. Rap a tap tap, there's a shoe. Rap a tap tap, there are shoes. Rap a tap tap, there's a hat. Rap a tap tap, there are hats. Rap a tap a tippy tippy tat. There's an L. There's a hat. The shoemaker and the elves. There is an old shoemaker. He cuts out the leather. He says, "There is no leather, and there is no money." He is very sad and goes to bed. In the morning, the shoemaker is so surprised. There are shoes on the table. He sells the shoes in the town. Then he buys leather. In the evening, he cuts the leather. He puts the leather on the table. In the morning, the shoemaker goes to the table. Oh my! There are shoes on the table. Yes, there are many shoes. Day after day, there are more shoes. Soon the old man is very famous. Everyone talks about his fine shoes. People come from far away. They love his shoes. One day, the queen hears of the old man's shoes. Bring the old man to me. The old man goes to the castle with his shoes. I will buy ten pairs, says the queen. Now the old man is rich. At last, the shoemaker says. Who makes the shoes? His wife says, "I do not know." Well, I must know. That night, he leaves the leather on the table again, but he doesn't sleep. He waits behind the door with his wife. Then the shoemaker sees the elves. They skip, they dance, and they make shoes. Rap a tap tap, rap a tap tap. The old man and the old woman go to the bedroom quietly. The elves are so kind. Yes. Let's give them a nice gift. Yes, let's make fine clothes for them. In the morning, the shoemaker is busy. He makes clothes for the elves. There are hats, shirts, and pants. There are little shoes too. Evening, the elves see the clothes. They are so happy. They put on the clothes and go away. 
The elves do not come back. But the shoemaker is always lucky. Shirts, shirts, I like nice shirts, pants, pants, I like nice pants, shoes, shoes, I like nice shoes, make my clothes and shoes real nice. An emperor who loves nice clothes. I want the nicest clothes, he says. The emperor looks for the best tailor. Everyone hears the news. Far away, two brothers hear it too. They aren't tailors, but they are good liars. We have the best cloth! The brothers say every day at the front of the castle's gate. Finally, the emperor hears them. He wants to meet the brothers. I want the nicest clothes, says the emperor. Our cloth is the best, says the elder brother. But foolish people can't see it, says the younger brother. The emperor says, Make clothes for me. He gives them a lot of money. We tricked the emperor, the brothers say. They pretend to make the clothes. Later, Someone goes to see the clothes. You aren't foolish, so you can see them, right? I can't see the clothes, he thinks. But he doesn't want to look foolish. So he lies to the emperor. Those are the nicest clothes. Your Highness, the clothes are finished. The brothers pretend to carry the clothes. Hmm, I don't see anything. He thinks, but he doesn't want to look foolish. The Emperor says, Wow, these clothes are really nice. He puts on the invisible clothes. People clap for him. The emperor wants to show his new clothes. So he has a parade. All of the people come. Huh? He is naked. They are shocked. But no one says anything. <laughs> the emperor is naked. And all of the people start to laugh. <laughs> the foolish emperor runs to his castle. It's great, it's great to bring you back. How brave you are, how wise you are. You brought me back, you saved my life. Aladdin's Lamp It's 
In a small town in India, lived a young man named Aladdin. One day, a wizard came to Aladdin. He said, "Bring me the lamp inside this hole, and I will give you some money." He pushed Aladdin inside the hole. Aladdin went in, and he got the lamp. Then he shouted, "Let me out! I got the lamp!" However, the wizard did not want to give him any money, so he said, "Give me the lamp first, or I will leave." Aladdin was scared. He tried to get out this way and that way. In the end, Aladdin rubbed the lamp. Suddenly, a giant came out of the lamp. My master, what can I do for you? Aladdin was so surprised. Let me out and take me home. Whatever you want, my master. The giant took Aladdin home. The giant gave Aladdin everything he wanted. Aladdin became rich. One day, on the way home, Aladdin saw a beautiful lady. She was a princess. How beautiful! Aladdin fell in love with her. After this. Aladdin thought and thought about her all day long. Aladdin went to her father. He said, "Dear king, I love your daughter. I want to marry her." However, the king did not like Aladdin. If you build me a big castle, I will give you my daughter. The next day, Aladdin showed a big castle to the king. Oh my! It's beautiful. The king was so surprised and glad. Aladdin married the princess. The wizard heard about Aladdin. He came to the castle and he shouted, "Give me your old lamp! Take my new lamp! This will be better. This will be good." The princess heard the wizard. She did not know the secret of the lamp, so she said. That one looks better. Aladdin will like it. The princess gave Aladdin's lamp to the wizard. The wizard rubbed the lamp, and he took everything from Aladdin: the lamp, the castle, and even the princess. Aladdin was shocked. Oh no! What can I do? I must go and find him. Aladdin went to the wizard. After the great meal, the wizard was asleep. Aladdin picked up the lamp carefully. He rubbed the lamp and he said. Take him far away from here, so he can never come back. The giant took the wizard far away. I'm glad to bring you back. The princess said, "I'm glad to see you again."
Aladdin and the princess lived happily ever after.